Hello, my name is Emily Mann, and I'm going to do my video submission on the Hindu or Hinduism religion um, that comes from India. Uh, that is their primary religion since 1947 uh, when they had an Indian Independence Act that separated Pakistan and India, and that made Hinduism the primary religion in India. Um, Hindus they refrain from eating beef um, or cows. They have a sacred cow, so that can cause some um, nutritional deficiencies there. And we'll talk more about them later, but I thought that was the most interesting, along with the um, social chase system that they go along with. It's founded on the sacred written sculpture of the Vedas. Um, they have four. Four ranks, as they call it, the Brahmin, the Kistira, the Visya, and the Surta. And they kind of um, go by jobs, is what I see. Um, the the Brahmin um, are kind of at the top. They're the priests and teachers in the society. Um, and they're often considered the highest and deserve the most respect from everyone. Or respect from everyone. Um, the Kistira is the next one. Um, from the top, it's going down. Um, there are the warriors and um, rulers. And then um, we go down to the Vizas. And they are kind of the middle class, like from America, like merchants, farmers, and all that um, kind of thing. The artisans. Um, and the Serta is the lowest of the four. They do the most work and labor. Um, kind of like the low class um, and it doesn't really sometimes qualify as a Verda. Uh, most people call it the untouchable class because um, people are forbidden from touching them or uh, talking to them. So, And if a priest touches the untouchable, he must go to a ritual so the pollution is washed away. That's really amazing, I think, uh, to go that far. And then... Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is um, the kind of the religion. They have um, well over 300 um, languages and dialects, um, but Hindi is the prominent language. Um, English is becoming um, the most popular, especially due with the coming over to the United States. Um, it's common for them to learn English. Um, as far as living together, a lot of them are extinct families living together, grandparents, children, grandchildren, aunts, uncles. Um, and it's very common for the grandparents to come stay with um, the youngest of the sons um, once children are born or they get sick um, after retirement, things like that. Um, women, um, as far as gender roles goes, women tend to stay at home and take care of the house, um, manage the finances, things like that. The men are the breadwinners, um, and they are the ones that interact with the community. They spit, they do all that together, so that's things like making decisions on health care. The men are the ones that do that in the Hindu religion. Um, they have a lot of physical illnesses, um, being a low um, socioeconomic society. Um, malaria is especially um, very high. Respiratory infections like tuberculosis and pneumonia, high blood pressure, um, a lot of dental problems, sickle cell disease, um, prostitution is common um, over there. And then I figure we go back to the nutritional uh, deficiencies. Um, thiamine deficiency is really um, high because of the dependency on rice for to eat. Um, then um, the osteomalacia is common and that as osteomalation is what's common um, with the sacred cow where they don't eat the meat. The cow is actually held sacred. So where that is that's really really important. Um, we'll switch over to like pregnancies. Um, they view pregnancy to be a hot state at a time when the body has increased body heat. So they um, really work hard not to come overheated. So um, they avoid hot food. Um, 
So eggs, meats, nuts, herbs, and spices, and take foods that have cooling effect like milk, um, fruits, and vegetables. They tend to eat a lot. Um, when she actually goes into labor, the woman is more passive. Um, she follows instructions from healthcare providers or family members. Usually it's a stoic um, approach by the mother during the process um, that will come and take place. The father, it could be present, but he's more not um, no, not to be present during labor. Um, they don't typically use pain medicines. Um, they're believed that they complicate the delivery. Um, so we should be prepared to um, do alternate relaxation or breathing techniques for um, the Hindu women during that. And they do typically breastfeed. It's really encouraged in their religion. Um, anywhere from six months to three years. Um, and if they can't get breast milk, they do separate um, supplement with cow's milk and sugar water. Um, really no other um, extreme religion practices. Um, Maybe noting the exact time of the baby's birth is listed in our um, textbook is very important um, because it determines the baby's horoscope. Um, and the males are not circumcised, um, circumcised and the breastfeeding is expected. So that would be some beliefs um, and practices that we as nurses need to be aware of um, for Hindu faith. Um, the next one and the last part that I want to touch on is um, the death and dying. Um, there's not really a lot of religious customs or restrictions. Um, one, that they usually go home to die. They don't usually typically stay in the hospital. Um, cremation is the most common form of the body disposal. And they take the ashes and they dispose of them in the holy rivers in India. Um, if they do have a typical fetus or newborn that has passed, sometimes they will bury those instead of cremate. Um, but if the body is in the if the person is dying in the hospital, um, they ask that healthcare providers not touch the body as much as possible. Ideally, a family member of the same sex um, should clean the body, and they wrap them in a red cloth. Um, the men and boys of the family shave their head as a symbol of uh, mourning, and um, some families will wear all white, and they wish to have a Brahmin at the funeral, a priest. Um, for a, a prayer and a blessing if they do have the funeral. Um, other than that, those are the really the main um, issues that as nurses we should be aware of the Hindu faith. I feel like researching this has um, given me great insight to Hinduism and what to um, look forward to if taking care of a patient that has the Hinduism faith. Um, especially not eating meat that's really important and you know um, the death and dying phase um, that would be really important to know as well um, so I'm I'm really grateful that I researched Hinduism and I look forward to being more competent and taking care of people of that religion